<laughs> Are you guys ready for something scary? Yeah. Are you ready? I see everybody at Spirit Halloween flagship store, and I'm sitting here at my pathetic ass old house with my crazy old Venom. We're gonna do an unboxing and set up and all that good stuff. It's not Venom, it really isn't. What's inside the box? I don't know, it's a mystery. But I see a lot of boxes at Spirit Halloween flagship store location. You guys are all lighting up those videos and I've been watching quite a few, man. That looks totally fun. So next year I'm gonna have to probably make a trip up there to do this uh, flagship opening. But in the meantime, I got a box here from Home Depot. Wanna open it up, pop that lid open. Whoa, it's from the Home Depot, folks. That's right, Home Depot Halloween is coming through from Ryan for Spooky Laters. I like how they actually got the description on the box. Oh, Lordy, there's there's a pyramid head over there. See that? <laughs> it looks like pyramid head. What the what? But this is what it looks like inside the box. It's really nicely packaged. Unfortunately, there's no secondary box because uh, that would have been really nice because the main box looks, this, this main box looks like it got damaged in shipping. But that's okay. So what we're gonna do is uh, unboxing. We're gonna do a setup, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the full nine yards once again. Uh, give you a, a daytime version, then a nighttime version with some Halloween lights and some fog and see how everything plays out. So are you guys ready? Let's do it. This is my ghetto ass wife, sitting here with a dog, <laughs> trying to be a YouTuber, but just sitting here with a dog. Tell everybody to subscribe to your channel. Subscribe to Life with Carrie. Yeah. Sad dog. I get cold in the house, so I have to wear a robe. It's not even cold, sucker. I'm over here telling everybody it's hot as hell in Texas. It's freezing in the house. But he's calling me a homeless person. You do look like a homeless person <laughs> in your own damn ass house. <laughs> Anyways, out of the box, we have a big head. That's a huge head. These hands are huge. We got, it looks like uh, arms, the little coil thing, the wrap around, the main mechanical bit, the base the legs or the poles and everything that go around and hook up to the, the cover to, you know, to make the box and all that. Should be quick and easy. I probably don't even need instructions, but I'll do step-by-step -step instructions for you guys. The detail, amazing. Home Depot has just really kicked it up a notch with, with the quality. Um, and just watching some of the spirit walkthroughs today at the flagship store, uh, I got Grandma and I got a bus saw, but the quality doesn't look as good as this. Okay, so this is the base, Ace of Base. Okay, they should have labeled it B since it's base. But we got B right here. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stick B into this little pole right here. Uh, first things first, this is the front. When this one, oh, let me kinda move this there. So this is the front. This is your left side, back, and your right side. So basically, you're just gonna pop in this pole right here. Let me get this out of the way though. Near, where's the hole? Right there. If you see right there, this is this is pole B, and there's a little notch right there, and then you have the little notch right there. And we're just gonna do this, drop that down, push the thing in, and bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. All right, so that's it, man. Simple, simple, simple. All right, we'll move on. Be right back. All right, so next are the four poles right here. C. And we're gonna connect those all around the base right here. There's one, two, three, four. And this is real quick and easy. Let me see if I can do it with my hand like this. So I'll just pop that in there like this. Drop it. And spin it. Locks right in place. All right, folks. So if you have yours looking like this, you are a true Halloween fanatic. That's right. There's no climbing around. Next is this little bit right here. We're just gonna connect the top bit right here. Not this one, because that's your the back bit of the box. We'll just connect this to these, which I gotta put the camera down, but I'll do that real quick and we'll be right back. All right, so next we're gonna just drop this back bit right there into the back right over there. All right, so next we're gonna put the box cover on. It's really nice, uh, pretty good material. I mean, once again, I keep talking about Home Depot's quality material and the way they, what they're using. I mean, I'm talking, this is really good quality. I mean, this is not the cheap stuff, man. This is gonna last, you could probably put this in a washer tons of times and it'll come out perfect. It won't fall apart. Very hard to notice this. And I'm gonna see if you can see this, but uh, 
There's a little tiny hole right there. And one somewhere over here. This is actually harder to see. You can kinda kinda see it right there where the white bit is. Um make sure it's facing the back where obviously this would be your back bit. And then the little nod not uh hook notches right here are right there on the back. So you don't mess that up and have to take this off and rotate it. Boomer, where's Jack? Where's Jack? You seen the box? Boom! You ferocious dog, you. Okay, and before you put on that back box bit, there's these little bits right here with the Velcro. So you're gonna bring that around and lock these into place. There's four. There's four of them. There's one of them right there. 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 Real simple. All right. So next is G. It's just the back of the box that goes right there around that. Just gonna put that on real quick, slides right on over, and Red Rover will be almost there. Next up is Mr. Coily Snake here. That's right, just connects into a little slot here and a little slot right down there. And there's Venom again in my video. <laughs> um, the reason being is because when you hook this up, this is a square bit. And the other, the bottom bit connects to down there as a circular bit. So then this square bit is supposed to connect in here. Let me put the camera down so I can get that for you. You can see that that has a square bit that it connects to that. And it looks pretty good. This is pretty tall, a lot bigger than what I was expecting. Got a little ahead of myself on the video. Uh, we put the head on and you just drop it down into the little two holes right there, back there. Let me see if I can get it. You can see them right back there. This slides right on. Uh, connect the two connectors, this one red with red and this with that, and it's all good. I connected the arms, if you're facing the clown, which I am, K is on the right, but that's his left side, and I believe this is L on his right side. <laughs> okay, when you guys put these arms on in the sleeves, you're going to have to rotate this until you find the Velcro, which is right there. And then there's these little Velcro grips right here that actually wrap around. I don't want to take it out to show you, but uh, it locks onto the little bar the bracket like this. So there's another one right here. You can kind of see it Velcro's right in there just to keep it onto the sleeve. And just make sure that the back bit of the Velcro is showing right here, probably flush with this. So this way you can put the back tarp on. The Q Velcro's to the sleeves right there on the back. Um, a little loose, but I think the, cover, the the neck cover will cover that. But that just kind of gives it that back feel like it's, it's completed and closed. All right, let's go ahead and get the neck cover on and we'll give it a test run. Okay, last but not least is R, which is this neck gator, garter, whatever, neck cover. You got four points of locking. There's one right there, two, three, and four. They go around his neck right there, see that? They got Velcro bits and quick and easy. Hold on one moment and we're almost there. No climbing around this time, folks. All we gotta do is get these big old monstrosity hands here. They are huge, folks. This is my hand. Oh, look at that. That's like touching the Hulk's hand or something, but he only has four fingers. <laughs> really cool though, nonetheless. All right, so basically, I'm assuming this one's gonna go right there, so just gonna hook that up right there. All right, last but not least, just the sensor right here. It just goes right up under here. And it just velcros right to the back. You can see right here. And like I said, the work, this material is amazing. I mean, this is high quality Halloween costume that you can wear stuff. I mean, this this is straight up Pennywise right there. But yeah, I mean, if you just, you'll, you'll see when you get to the stores. I mean, it's just phenomenal, the, the material that they're using. They, they have, they didn't go cheap at all. Despite COVID-19 and all this and cutbacks, they did not release any money on the Halloween. This, this is just straight up hardcore, heavy duty stuff. All right, but let me hook this up and then uh, put the power up to his brain and we're gonna electrocute him and set him on fire. Be right back. Special guest appearance here by Venom. <laughs> just keeps showing up. But uh, let's take a look at him real close. Uh, I, all I can say is, wow. <laughs> I'm just like blown away. These hands are huge, folks. That's all I'm saying. I know you've seen this clown last year but it has some small modifications and changes. Uh, I believe he had like, like a coney hat, like a cone hat. This time he's got a little top hat. I dig the hair, it's really, really unique and cool. Uh, the eyes and the facial, you, you know, the camera's gonna show you everything here, man. 
he is very detailed and the workmanship the quality i can't stress enough home depot is killing it i mean they did not go cheap whatsoever to the box to the material on him and his outfit amazing i mean this is not cheap stuff folks um i got some stuff still yet to come from spirit halloween grim and uh buzzsaw and i just i don't think they're going to even come close to what home depot is offering i think home depot is going to be the king of halloween all right so enough being said let's uh see this bad boy in action speaking about action we're going to get some small footage here in the living room and then in the evening, we'll go ahead and give him the full Halloween gist with some lighting, some fog. And I even got a little background on the foot behind the trees. And it should look pretty cool. So hang tight, stick around, let me plug him in. We'll give it this little demo right here. Ooh. I remember when you were little, there were so many things that you were so afraid of. <laughs> what a little cry, baby. I'll find you in your dreams and conjure up some new things to be afraid of. <laughs> Let's put a smile on that face of yours. <laughs> Smiles or screams, either way works for me. Ha 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 ha! 